3ds max is one of the most known software for 3d work today we're going to talk about what it is used for and how it helps designers artists and studios to bring their visions to life number one game development making video games is one of the best things 3ds max is known for and this has been the case since a long time ago, back in the 90s and in the early 2000s when it was used to create some of the most iconic video games in the history of game development like Warcraft, Tomb Raider, Halo 1, Halo 2, just to name a few. For the most part, 3ds Max is used in the game development industry to create assets and for animation work. 3ds Max is very good for creating high quality video game assets and modular game environments, which is almost everything you see in a video game. Creating assets is usually done using different software to get the best out of each of them. 3ds Max is usually used for modeling, UV unwrapping, but texturing is mostly done in specialized software such as Substance Painter. Even though 3ds Max is not known for animation, it can deliver great results nonetheless. Big studios use it and rely on it to get most if not all their animation work, such as Ubisoft Assassin's Creed Studios that used it to work on all the Assassin's Creed franchise, which is known for its great navigation and fighting mechanics. Also, some of the best studios rely on 3ds Max in part to create some of the most amazing video game cinematics, such as Blur and Unit Image. There are a lot of game studios around the world that use 3ds Max in their pipelines because it has proven itself over the years that it can do good work and handle big projects. This software is trusted by game development artists and a lot of professionals use it to get their job done. Also, a lot of indie developers use 3ds Max even though there are other software for free, but I believe this is the case because pipelines have been built over the years around it which means it became game development friendly by having all the necessary tools and the support needed to produce good quality video games. Also a lot of indie developers actually have industry experience which means they worked for game development studios in the past and now they are trying to work on their own games and there isn't a better choice for them other than 3ds Max because they know it in and out. Number 2 VFX for film and TV When it comes to visual effects for film and TV shows, 3ds Max can handle several stages of the pipeline including pre-visualization, layout, cameras, modeling, texturing, rigging, animation, simulations, lighting, and rendering. 3ds Max can be relied on to work on complicated scenes with tens of millions of polygons in real time and it is very good for simulations using third-party plugins such as Thinking Particles for particle simulation that can be used to generate a lot of different visual effects, also Fume FX and Phoenix FD for fluid dynamics. Autodesk is lately making significant progress in 3ds Max to create fluid simulations in the latest releases. Even though artists and studios rely on their own plugins or commercial plugins to create simulation effects, developing the native simulation tools for 3ds Max is a good step forward nonetheless. There are a lot of big studios that are using 3ds Max currently in their pipelines to create amazing VFX heavy movies and this was the case in the near past as well because it was used in part to work on the most iconic movies such as Avatar, 2012 and The Last Airbender just to name a few. What makes 3ds Max suitable for VFX work is its ease of use and the number of plugins that can give a much better result compared to relying on 3ds Max tools alone. Some of these studios that are using 3ds Max are Fuse FX, Scaleline VFX and ILM. Number 3 Animation when it comes to projects that can be considered primarily animation work, 3ds Max has everything necessary for professional production. So it is often used by professional animators working on big budget movies, AAA video game cinematics or indie films also by freelance animators. Animation in 3ds Max revolves around keyframing, bone properties, making it easy to create complex and organic motion. This software comes with two systems for animating character models, which are CAT and Character Studio. 
Each one of those two is customizable with a wide variety of applications. Both are compatible with motion capture file formats too, and together they provide a powerful means of animating complex and detailed scenes. 3ds Max was used for the animated movie Planet 51 in 2009 starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which is about an astronaut that goes to a planet where some green people live. Also 3ds Max was used for some short 3D animated films as well, but for the most part the big 3D animated movie production companies such as Pixar, DreamWorks, Blue Sky have their own software to create animation films. Number 4. Architecture and Design When it comes to architecture work and design, you can use 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design, which is a special version catered for architects and designers. For this type of work, 3ds Max excels like no other software due to the fact that Autodesk, the developers of the software, have been creating the best CAD software or computer-aided design software since the 1980s, which means that they made sure that 3ds Max is good for architects and designers. A lot of architects and architecture firms rely on 3ds Max to get their work done because it is easy to use and the robust modeling and rendering tools, also the huge number of plugins available for 3ds Max users for this type of work which allows them to get their results to the next level. 3ds Max is especially used for architecture and design work because it can be simple enough for people that don't have a lot of experience in 3D modeling and rendering. Also it can be used for big projects by professional architects or architecture firms. Design and architecture work is about modeling and rendering for the most part, and those two things are probably the best points of strength for 3ds Max. Using its semi-procedural modeling tools makes it faster and easier, in addition to that, there are a lot of modeling plugins that can complement the native tools. For rendering, 3ds Max recently integrated Arnold Render, which is a great render engine that was originally created for it, then finally came back to it after Autodesk bought it to become the default for both 3ds Max and Maya. In addition to that, there are some great plugins for rendering that can achieve outstanding results, like V-Ray, Corona, Octane, Redshift, just to name a few. Some of them are new and others have been around for a long period of time. Number 5. Advertising This is also a big market for studios using 3ds Max that focus on this type of work. In the same way 3ds Max can handle the different entertainment and design projects, it is used to produce professional TV commercials and other type of commercials for some of the biggest brands and companies in the world. It can be used for pre-visualization, modeling, animation, effects, simulations, rendering, and so on. Studios show their clients what they are going to do for them using 3ds Max for previs just to give them a general idea of how the work they will do is going to look like as part of the pre-production for visually mapping out scenes and when the parties agree on a certain direction the production begins which generally speaking is not very different than VFX or animation projects in terms of how artists use 3ds Max. Number 6. Virtual Reality Virtual reality or VR is going to be an important part of mankind's life from now on because it is a better alternative for the technology we have in a lot of fields whether it be entertainment for video games and movies, architecture and design, the medical field and psychology, the military, archaeology and many other applications. 3ds Max Interactive is a VR engine that extends the power of 3ds Max to create immersive and interactive architectural visualization. They plan to tune Max Interactive to the specific needs of visualization workflows rather than real-time rendering for games, which I think is a smart choice because they don't want to compete with the powerful game engines that have been established since a long time ago. Other thoughtful features include templates for various VR platforms that are packaged with the necessary tools and scripts that make it easy for non-developers to quickly create mobile, PC, and room-scale VR experiences without any advanced scripting knowledge. 
There are a lot of people creating their VR projects using game engines such as Unreal Engine, which is a great thing, but with 3ds Max Interactive VR Engine, they are going to find it easier to do so, especially if they find learning how to use a game engine hard or they don't want to spend the time necessary to learn the game engine in the first place. I hope this quick overview of what 3ds Max can do gave you a nice idea about 3ds Max overall. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.